Okay, so let's say I want to write a script and I want to write a script that's going to iterate over all of the arguments I'm going to pass to the script. I could write something like this. Okay, awesome. So let's run this. Okay, so if you didn't know, when you run a for loop, you can omit the collection you're looping over and bash will fill it in for you. So for example, I can remove this because this is just extra. And as you can see, you get the same behavior as we did with the previous loop. But is this good or is this bad? So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, consider this. So let's say I write something like this. Now, why is it better to omit the collection you're using? Well, consider this. Let's say one day you're writing a for loop and you forget to drink your coffee and you end up writing something like this. You may already realize the problem with this. Let's take a look at the script again. And if you didn't know, we need to quote our variables to prevent bash from splitting up our strings like this. So let's fix it now. Okay, so that's fixed. Let's run this. And as you can see, we get the same behavior as we did before. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you enjoyed watching this and want to see more, remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you later.